HQ Words, and we're turning up the heat tonight. I am your host, the Queen of Words. She's back, guys. Anna Royceman. Oh, how I missed you. You better find me here. I had to make up for lost time when I wasn't here by doing crossword puzzles. Can you believe? <laughs> but I'm back, baby. And let me tell you about tonight's game. We have a theme tonight. It is alternate titles for movies. You like movies, right? I love movies. Imagine another title for a movie that works. For example, if I give you the hint, Willy Wonka, you would answer Candyman. You get it? Willy Wonka, he's the Candyman. Candyman, scary movie. Candyman. Anyway, tonight I am going to show you 12 puzzles. If and when you make it through, you will win some of the prize, which is $1,000. Tonight you will also be getting five strikes, plus whatever strikes you already have from leveling up on HQ. All right, here we go. It's time to spin that beautiful wheel around my face. Okay, in honor of movie titles, here are movies that have to do with things that remind me of wheels. Cars, because they have wheels. A sphere, you get it, because it's a sphere. Signs, this could be a crop circle if you look really carefully. And X-Men, because Wolverine calls Professor X wheels. There you go. Those are my wheel movies. All right, it's time for the first puzzle. The faster you solve, the more points you can earn. And remember, it's Smarter Day. Tonight's game is a little different, so think outside the box and take the time that you need. But type fast, of course, always. All right, your first hint is Ant-Man. Type in the letters F, G, and B. Woo, three letters off the bat. This is the story of a creature and the adventures he goes on. Come on, Ant-Man, I can think of another movie title that could be an alternate title for this. Can you? You better, you gotta just type it in. Think logically, what is an ant? That, with the letters, you're gonna get it. The answer's a bug's life. Get it? Ant-Man, a bug's life. Both go on a journey. They are both bugs in their own way. 84,697. You get it. You got it. You're moving on. We say goodbye to 18,100 players. Hey, you know what tomorrow is? Just here. I'm giving you it now. Tomorrow's Mother's Day. Okay. You got to make sure you wish your mom a happy Mother's Day. And you better tune into HQ tomorrow night because we're doing trivia at nine with Matt and Matt's mom. And then we're doing words at 930 with me. And I'm bringing my mom. You better believe it. We're bringing the moms from Mother's Day. So bring your mom and come and play tomorrow night. It's going to be so much fun. Okay, here's a movie I grew up on because I love scary movies. I'm talking about Child's Play. Oh, it's the best. I love Child's Play. Is my crazy? This movie is about a doll. This answer, though, is about a doll who comes to life and has all kinds of adventures with a whole bunch of friends. You ever play with dolls growing up? Right? Or if you're an adult, I know what we're talking about child's play, but we have adult children, don't we? All over the place. And the answer is Toy Story. Oh, check it out. Toy Story. Whoa. Okay. That's Toy Story, but with a Chucky doll. Did you catch Chucky in that? That's Toy Story gone wrong because Chucky's out to get them. 82,097 solved the puzzle. 3,699 eliminated on Toy Story. It's a great alternate title, you know? It's just a little more rated R. All right, in case you ever run into a scary Toy Story like that, I'm sure Iron Man could help save the day. Also your hint. This movie is about a hero who is a little more like a superhuman, okay? He wears a special suit when he's working. Very important hint. He uses his special skills to combat crime. Okay, but it's, it's not a hobby or anything. It's pretty official. And the alternate title for Iron Man is Robocop. Check it out. Oh, look, there's Iron Man and wow, my eyes. And there's Robocop. They're both wearing a suit of armor that really protects them. It's, a, it's their defense, Robocop and Iron Man. Who would have thought? Maybe they are related in an, another alternate universe. 77,163 got it right. And you're moving on to puzzle four. Okay, remember when we had Marvel Night a few weeks ago? You remember? I have total recall of it. Hey, hey, 
Also, that's your hint. If you know where this no alternate eye. title takes place, this should be a no-brainer, okay? It's somewhere far, far away, but still in our galaxy. And this movie is about a fight between aliens and U.S. Congress. If I recall correctly, I'm talking about Mars Attacks. Oh, you remember Mars Attacks? Come on, and also in Total Recall, we've got uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, and he's dealing with, you know, Mars, Mars Attacks, 66,154. You're catching on. You're getting it. You're moving on. Ever wonder if there are alien versions of all of us? Come on, I would love to meet my avatar someday. Bring it. Avatar, it's your hint Why? and your movie. People love this movie. The puzzle for this movie is about a guy who has to alter his own appearance, becoming more of an avatar of himself. Think about it. There's a running theme here about keeping people safe. Heaven? Oh, I didn't get the V. And the answer is my blue heaven. Oh, it is my blue heaven. It's a Steve Martin, Rick Moranis movie. 22,515 solved the puzzle. 44,330. You just got schooled out of the puzzle. Oh, I am sad to see you go. But this movie was about a guy who goes into witness protection. Therefore, he is pretty much an avatar, right? He's a version of himself. He's not himself, but he's a version of himself. Oh, my blue heaven. You know what's a heaven of mine? A Bill Murray marathon. And you know Groundhog Day is on the lineup. Mm-hmm. This is a movie about repeating something over again. Repeating something over again. Yeah, but once you realize it, you're able to make these decisions that are affected by the repetition, right? Sometimes they work out, sometimes they don't. What happens? What's an alternate title for Groundhog Day? The answer is the do-over. Ah, oh, the do-over, because he really does over his whole day, over and over and over again, and it's Groundhog Day. 24,084 solved the puzzle. The do-over, it's a David Spade, Adam Sandler movie, where they actually fake their own deaths to, to start anew, to start over, to do-over their lives. All right, if you were eliminated on that, you may want to do-over. But if not, hey, congratulations. You just made it halfway through the game, baby, on Smarter Day. It's our Smarter Day intermission. We only have six more to go until that word heaven. Okay, try not to jump up and down, but figure out an alternate title for Airborne. Airborne. This other movie is a sci-fi favorite. It's about androids, all of the troubles that they can cause. Airborne. What if androids looked and acted just like us? Sounds like an avatar. Hmm? <laughs> and the answer for this is Blade Runner. Blade Runner is the answer. It takes place in a futuristic world where there are, you know, androids of each other, of us, of people. 21,572 solved the puzzle. You know what's crazy about Blade Runner? It takes place in a futuristic world from when the movie came out, and that was 2019. And what do you know? Here we are. We're living out Blade Runner streams right now. Okay, right now we are playing a competition and someone will be the fastest. I know it's gonna happen, but this next movie is about being the fastest to do something other than word puzzles. I'm talking about First Man. First Man. Now the answer for this is a biographical movie about a man's journey to become a well-respected legend at his profession. It's a real, you know, out-of-world experience for him and those around him, for sure. And the answer is they put a man on the moon, a man on the moon. You remember Man on the Moon? Oh, it was a beautiful movie with Jim Carrey, right? Oh, 21,092 solved the puzzle. And also First Man obviously is about the first man on the moon. Okay, have you ever woken up from a nightmare where you were flying around aimlessly in outer space? Hey, that's a thing, okay? It's happened to me, and it reminds me of your next movie, Inception. This movie is a story. The answer for this is a story about what goes on, okay? What we're capable of in a subconscious state. 
Even if there was once a strong foundation, life can shake things up, okay? Sometimes we're able to work better in an alternate universe, in an HQ universe. Inception. Another alternate title is What Dreams May Come. Oh, What Dreams May Come. It's a famous Robin Williams movie, right? Where you have to alternate what's going on in the dreams, what's reality. 14,329 solve the puzzle. No problem. And we go on to puzzle 10. Okay, when you're graduating from school, as exciting as it is, your dreams, they start to become closer and real life sets in. So the weekend uh, becomes crucial. Your hint is Saturday Night Fever. I should have said Smarter Day Night Fever, <laughs> but you know, Saturday Night Fever. Come on, a lot of people like to go out, right? They have a place where they can forget about real life for a while. You can socialize here. This, this answer, it's about finding the balance between work and play, right? You can meet people, you can hang out. Awesome. Another title for Saturday Night Fever, The Last Days of Disco. Check this out. Oh, look, what if this was his last day? What if this was the last day? John Travolta knew how to dance on the dance floor. The last days of disco. It's actually a Chloe Sevigny, Kate Beckinsale movie. 13,166. Got it right. 2,500 eliminated. It was the last days of disco and the last puzzle for you of the night. The thing about being popular at a disco is people will think you're almost famous. Mmm, they will. The answer for this is a movie about a journey in a teenager's life, right? Through struggles and love and drama. Come on, it's not always easy, especially when you're a teen. It's not, but that's part of growing up, right? Life is imperfect, but we make it through. And the answer is The Fault in Our Stars. You see it. Almost famous? It means you're almost there, but the fault in our stars. Come on. The fault in our stars. There's a lot of faults in our stars. 12,268. Got it right. Finally, we come to the moment where I can say in the HQ universe, you are almost famous, okay? You're so close. You're stars already because you'd made it to the final puzzle of the night. You know your movie titles, and it shows. We started Smarter Day with about 110,000 players. And now we're about to find out who's taking home the cake. Here we go. Your final hint. It's a pretty popular one. I'm talking about Avengers Endgame. Come on. Where are my MCU fans? This is an ongoing event, right? It's been happening since, I don't know. Iron Man since the beginning of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, right? But it keeps going and going. We don't know what will happen. We can predict. And the alternate title is The Never-Ending Story. Oh, yes, it is. We don't know when it'll end, but you know what's ending right now? The game has to come to an end. We have 12,340 winners in tonight's Smarter Day Alternate Movie Titles game. Woo, I got an alternate title for you, and that's uh, Champion Word Nerd. <laughs> oh, right, you came here ready to play. You're going home a winner, a freaking winner on a Saturday night. Uh, I'm proud of you. I missed you. I'm proud of you. I'm happy to be here going home with nine cents. You better spend that all tonight. Why not? It's Saturday night. Go out and treat yourself to a couple pieces of gum. We've got Dr. Daniel. Dr. Daniel? You're going with Dr. Daniel tonight. Zef 21 tonight. Ali Nag. Wow, Dr. Daniel in first, Zef 21, Ali Nag in third. Congratulations. That is the game for tonight. Congrats to all of the winners across the board. You put the smart and smarter day, right? You put the lit in literature. I hope that whatever dreams may come tonight to you makes you feel as special as a man on the moon. If not, I'd ask for a do-over. I would. Give me another dream. Come on. I've been your host, Anna Roisman. You can find me here on social media. I'm thrilled to be back here on your phone with you. And guess what? I'm going to see you so soon. I'm going to see you tomorrow night for Mother's Day at 9.30 p.m. Bring your mom. I told you I'm bringing mine. It's going to be so much fun. Go out to a disco now, word nerds. Come on, let loose. It's Saturday. I love you so much. I missed you. Goodbye.